Hello and welcome. In this video, we will discuss 10 big ideas from the new book by Rhonda Byrne, The Greatest Secret. Before we get started, if you want more teachings on numerology, astrology, and how to make the law of attraction work for you, please subscribe or click the bell to be notified when we release new videos. Within the pages of The Greatest Secret, lie pearls of wisdom that will transform your life and change your perception of reality forever. Once you embark upon this journey, there is no turning back to the person you used to be. The secret may have introduced you to the law of attraction, but Rhonda Byrne's latest release will show you the mirror to your soul. Do you want to know what the greatest secret is? The greatest secret is that you are not your body or your mind. Who you really are is awareness. This is not a new concept. It has been taught by teachers such as Sadhguru and Eckhart Tolle. Rhonda promises that by shifting to awareness, you can release all suffering and live in a constant state of happiness. Keep watching for 10 big ideas from The Greatest Secret. Big idea number one. Our entire world, your life, and everyone else's life, is nothing more than a dream. When you look around you, and see the trees, the grass, the birds in the sky, it's hard to imagine a world that ceases to exist beyond our consciousness, yet this is the true reality that we live in. Our environment is nothing more than a projection, an illusion of the compilation of our thoughts. We are dreaming, and it is when we realize this truth, that we have our awakening. Open your eyes, and step out of the limited mindset that we simply live, work, and die. Be in the world, not of it. Big idea number two. The habit of believing our own thoughts robs us of being able to live in the magnificence and glory of who we really are. Our minds are amazing, it generates our thoughts, and creates the world we live in. Having such a powerful tool at our disposal, gives us the ability to make changes in our lives that we didn't think were possible. Despite this, we allow ourselves to become entwined with the notion that life is happening to us, any negative events that we experience, we place blame upon the people or circumstances that we face, unaware that they have manifested because of our beliefs. Be mindful of what you focus on and take responsibility for your life. The ego will look outside for the source of our problems, and the enlightened ones will look within, and understand that our conscious awareness is the creator. Big idea number three. Problems are not real. Problems are only imagined. There are no problems. It's impossible. What you are is free of problems. Problems are manufactured, every single one of them. Are you suffering? Or are you aware of suffering? That is the question that you must ask. We experience these negative notions due to our belief that we are experiencing it. It is the mind that suggests that some form of suffering is occurring and we are registering this as a fact. Once we take this as gospel and remain firm with the idea that we are experiencing pain, then pain will continue to be our reality. To end suffering, we must cease to believe that there is a separation between our physical form and the world around us. We are neither individual beings, nor are we just a product of cells, we are all eternal and we are consciousness. Release any resistance that you may have, and come to know that suffering occurs when we accept it. Big idea number four. To expose your beliefs, be aware of your reactions. Reactions are actually beliefs in disguise. Through the action of being aware of your reactions, you remove its power and return to your natural state of harmony. 
When we identify with things that cause a reaction, we then make the circumstance personal. Our reaction is formed from our mind, not the true self. We give up our personal power when we focus our thoughts and emotions on circumstances that bother us. By connecting to awareness you automatically let go and detach. Awareness will dissolve the internal belief that is causing the reaction. Once you achieve this, you will feel lighter and manifest what you want without effort. Big idea number five. You are happiness. It is your true nature. Happiness, a never-ending wellspring of happiness, is here right now inside you. Happiness is our true state of being and our natural birthright. Happiness is not the result of achieving goals or obtaining material items. Joy lives within us, and our earthly ways can distract us from who we are, which is the embodiment of pure love and light. You don't have to seek happiness because you already are happiness. An eternal state of bliss will be discovered once we learn to turn away from the outside world, and accept that we are the very thing that we have been looking for. Be yourself and see the oneness that you are. Big idea number six. There is only one thing that causes unhappiness, attachment. The fear of losing something that we hold dear, forms attachments that impose on our happiness. Quite often we confuse attachment with love, however there is no fear or doubt to be had when you are truly experiencing love. There is freedom in releasing ourselves from the bonds of attachment. Holding on to things, only enforces the idea that there will be a lack in our lives, if we do not have the things that we are attached to. Don't let the need for people, or items rob you of your joy. We live in an unlimited universe, and there is no shortage of the things that we want. There is no cap or ceiling on what we can experience in this life. Big idea number seven. The world, the universe, and everything in it, including your body, are in awareness. They are all sitting in and on awareness. Just like the universe, we are omnipresent, an everlasting consciousness that exists throughout time. There is no other power than awareness, we are one with everything, and everything is one with us. You, this divine being, are made of energy that cannot be destroyed or created. You are the universe, and the universe is you. There is no beginning or end. When we look at the world around us, we are viewing it from within, not without. Everything that we see and experience is created within our minds. We are powerful, conscious beings. The cosmos and everything in it is consciousness, and consciousness is us. Big idea number eight. There is no such thing as death as we think of it. The body dies, but the spirit cannot be touched by death. The fear of death pollutes the mind, and clouds our understanding of our eternal nature. Death is only the end of the dream state that we are experiencing within our bodies. As our existence's awareness is never-ending, we never truly die. To pass on is to move from one plane to the next, casting aside the virtual reality that so many of us have come to accept as all that exists. We are consciousness that lives within a body, formed by consciousness itself, allowing us to experience life on this earth. When we are finished, we will return to the awareness of the truth. In the same way that death is a human construct, we can also say the same for birth. We have always been, and will continue long after our body dies. Big idea number nine. Time is relative. Ultimately, there's really no such thing as time. Time is an illusion, a mental concept created by the mind. There is no past or future, 
there is only the present. Trying to imagine a world without time seems incomprehensible, but once we stop, and try to create time outside of our mind, it becomes apparent that awareness lives in the present moment. We can only mentally process the past and the future, it cannot be experienced again, it only exists in our thoughts. There is only one infinite moment, the now is all there is, and will continue to be so until the end of time. Focusing on the past and future, can fill us with guilt and trepidation. Move away from such thoughts, and understand that it is your mind telling a fictional story about your reality. Big idea number 10. A simple way to stay is awareness. Open your attention wide like the lens on a camera so you're not focused on any detail anymore, and awareness is revealed. We are always awareness whether we are privy to the fact or not. However, there is a stark difference between being awareness, and knowing that it is our true self. Knowing this will grant you total freedom from the shackles, placed by living in a society that has not acknowledged who we really are. You are not a physical being, you are a spiritual being having a human experience. Once we shift our attention to our awareness, we are awarded with all of the goodness that we could ever experience. Ask yourself if you are aware, and allow yourself to just be. Try focusing on an item in a room, and open your attention so you have a wider view of everything around you. Through this practice, you will immediately feel a sense of relief and relaxation. If you enjoyed this video, and you want to learn how to manifest a life of meaning and purpose, be sure to click subscribe, or click the bell to be notified of upcoming videos.